Gary George with the Inland Valley Road reporting as the Los Angeles Clippers prepare to take on Spencer <laughs> How's the excitement? It's been great. Uh, last game, but he has been good. Yeah, well, it's just a matter of time, right? Uh, yeah, we got to figure it out, though. We got a lot of new guys moving pieces, so we got to figure it out. So, how would you, what was your reaction when you knew you were coming to LA to play for the Clippers? I was excited. I'm really excited to play with this guy. I'm excited to call George. Right. I had a chance to play with you know, the whole group for a while after talking to him. I had just a chance to win. I mean, I'm not out here trying to get ready now, but really I was just excited. With, uh, I was excited really to really play with these two. They all see that it's a great group of guys in the locker room. I know you got so much talent, so um, they're already, you know, without me, they're already on a path to do something special. Uh, I just wanted to try to be part of it. Right, right. From, well, you went from Detroit to here, and you were on a team that really wasn't going anywhere, but now you're on a team that's definitely on the pathway to success and greatness and even reaching the uh, NBA Finals and winning it. Oh, uh, yeah, you got a chance. Um, the future's bright, but, you know. God willing, we gotta have health. We gotta have guys start clicking, figuring each other out. And, uh, there's only a third of the season left, so it's coming fast, and you gotta make the most opportunities. What do you feel that you would bring to the team that would be an enhancement with your acquisition? Um, this guy was vocal on the court. Uh, he was just, uh, hopefully, I feel like I have a high basketball IQ, a playmaker, and try to make. I mean, they already got some of the best scores in the league. Um, three of the best scores. You got Leo, you got Paul, you got Kawhi. Um, and then we have a chance to play with Pat, the dog. So, you know, you got Zubac, you got Trez. You, know, you, you can go down the list. There's not really many clean kids. So. A lot of depth. Yeah, uh, my goal is just going to try to enhance their abilities and uh, make their lives easier. And what's it like playing in L.A.? What are your thoughts on it? being in the L.A. atmosphere? I know you've been in Oklahoma, different team, Detroit, but now you're in L.A. What's that like? Yeah, that's fun so far. Like I said, I uh, saw my wins. I don't really focus too much on it. I know the traffic's crazy, but other than that, the weather's been amazing. The best weather I've, I've played in. So you know, just to be here, be a part of this is special. What did Kobe mean to you? What was the impact that he may have had on your life? But what was it like knowing, you know, his ability and dealing with him? Uh, just a great competitor. Honestly, I think he was, a, he was a role model in that aspect for a lot of people, like, just the way that he competed. You're going um, to, oh, just kidding. You're not other guys, a little more sentimental, a little closer to him. We have Cali guys, uh, we go to Colorado, the Nets, you know, for loving the Lakers, but every time I got a chance to watch him, you know, I just admire by his competitive nature. What makes Reggie a great athlete? Uh, so, yes. I think pace. Uh, I mean, I've been blessed with long arms. I've been blessed to have some height. Um, pretty solid body, but for the most part, I think uh, my pace is what kind of makes me me. Right. What would you say to all of the friends, family, fans? As a shout out, what would you say to them? Um, thank you for being welcoming. I'm happy to be here. And, uh,